um, I know it's a bit far, but I hope that you all can actually take a look here. The window is ready, the downflow velocity not ready, inflow is not ready. Okay, so it actually tells you exactly what is going on. In addition, also there's a there's a number here, feet per minute, right? So with that, depending, if you are following the US style, right, you will maybe look at feet per minute. If you are following the um, the uh, European one, the German one, you will look at meters per second. You can actually change it. Okay? So the unit itself is, um, just hang on, huh? So one of the great things that I know a lot of you wants to do is that when you come in, the unit is ready. Right? So this unit actually has an auto start function. So that means the moment you come in, when you fresh, right, the auto start it will help you to do what is needed. Then you can go prepare first, drink your coffee first, then you come back and it's ready already. Yeah. So that's that's number one. Okay. But okay, so now everything is ready. So when it's ready, the heart here is green and it has a nice little tick. And then where it actually shows you the downflow and the inflow properly. Okay? So in order for me to demonstrate whether the downflow or inflow is proper, can I borrow some paper? So for those who are actually nearer, you can see that this number is dropping, inflow. Mm -hmm. Okay, the inflow is dropping. So it is not just it will drop, but it will try to think whether or not you know I need to adjust it or not. So this is also when your filters are used up already. Mm -hmm. So now having a problem, too low, right? So I have to go take a look at the alarm and still too low. Potential for reduced personal protection. It tells you that. Okay, so you know that the cabinet at this point in time not very safe to use. Okay, of course because sometimes your protocol gets stuck here. Just remove the protocol first. So now I remove ready, it detect it. Now it's okay already. Oh, and it's back to okay already. Yeah, but a lot of times you some of the cabinets do not have this kind of function to tell you actively whether the cabinet is actually okay or not. Right, and it's actually considerably I would say quite dangerous. Yeah. How many of y'all have a lot of tubings coming in and out of this? Tubing, wire and everything, right? So you cannot close the sash properly most of the time, right? But sometimes you do want to go for lunch. Yes? And then you don't want to take everything out. So you just push it down and squash the tubing. Then you go for lunch. Sometimes we do. I mean, I worked in the lab before, so I, I, I know all those little things. So one of the things that, you know, uh, we have, and I have to pull this thing down first. Second. Okay. okay. Is this part here? So this is actually what we call the smart pot. Okay. So with this, you can actually just uh, poke a hole through it and um, you can actually rub all your tubings, it will hold it in place. So you can still close the sash properly. And if you actually look at it over here, for those who are nearer to me, this thing goes internal, goes up to the filter. So there shouldn't be anything that goes in or go out because when it's actively working, later on when you co close the unit and open the uh, window to proper working condition, you put your hand around here, you feel that suction. And the air is going back into the filter. Yeah. So with this, it has been, been tested that you know there's no leakage at all. So just now when we talk about leakage, right, it's really all the joints and everything that's around here. The cabinet should contain all the things inside. Even for this, this is an aerosol so type window. Meaning that if I do any fumigation inside, nothing will go out also if I close the window. Yeah, and with this, it's easier to clean. So for some of y'all who are not using my cabinet, have you ever cleaned this part? Never. How old is your cabinet? Oh my god. Okay, for, for this, this is easy to clean. For the unit that you have, you just need to pull down the sash. Yeah. yeah, so for the unit that she has, all she need to do, all she need to do is to just pull down the sash, you can clean this part here. No need tools, right? So, you know, the cleaning is much more easier. Yeah, so just like I said, I want to try the UV. I don't know whether I activated it or not already, because um, today, this is new. Um, let me try the UV. Oh, yeah, it's on. So you see, huh? The UV went off. Yeah. So UV disinfection cycle has been disrupted. So restart or return. So there's a safety interval.
a lock. Same thing for the unit that you have, if you actually accidentally open the, the sash, it will have an interlock. Your unit needs to have a safety interlock. Because not that people would actually die from UV right away. But if, if there's no safety interlock, if the UV is on, there's a little gap, like really a, a gap, and you know somebody may not notice, you are sitting there for a long time, maybe decided to do other things, right? You may get burned. Long exposure. Because it's really direct UV, not like the sun with the clouds and you're wearing clothes, right? Yeah, so please make sure that you have that safety interlock. Yeah. So this unit also a bit, so now that you know you have this, some of the users will be a bit worried, okay? Because each, look, it actually records everything records everything. When this thing is on, when this thing is off, is there any alarm? Everything you will record. And you can actually export the data in an Excel file. So next time when you actually, like I said again, if you have a chance to set up a new facility, you know, there's SOP that you need to put in. There's also audit auditors that you need to be responsible for to, to look at, you know, all the safety and everything. This may be something that you can actually consider. Yeah? And of course, um, yeah, so let me on this up again. So it's actually very smart, you will, will always only stop here. Yeah. Break, some water break also, then we can continue 